Hello, everyone. My name is Justin Huang. Uh, I consider myself to be a native English speaker, even though I spent the first few years of my life speaking Chinese. Um, it wasn't until my older sister started school uh, and she brought English home, I started neglecting my Chinese. Um, and I was proud of it. I, uh, every time we visited Taiwan, I would make sure to speak English to everyone. Um, that way they would know that I'm from America, like I'm an American. Um, who all of you here can speak more than one language? That's pretty good. I like that a lot. Um, a lot of foreigners I've come to notice in my very limited traveling experience um, are at the very least bilingual. And not, I don't think too many Americans can say that about themselves. Um, now imagine if you were bilingual here. Uh, you'd be such a commodity in the workplace. I'm not saying you'd be a shoe-in wherever you apply, but you definitely have an edge over someone else uh, that only speaks one language. Uh, this past May, I spent two weeks volunteering in Honduras on a medical and public health brigade. Um, it was by far the most amazing experience I've ever had, but having only one or two translators with us was very difficult between the 20 students. Um, and we weren't able to have those types of intimate relationships with everyone that we were helping. So after coming back, I wanted to learn Spanish. And no matter how much vocabulary or grammar you're able to learn or memorize, transitioning into spoken language is much more difficult than it actually is. I found myself looking for uh, like a speaking partner, um, someone that could, that knew Spanish, understood the slang, the lingo, and would be able to work on my conversational skills with me. This led to my idea of connecting learners and instructors throughout the globe um, through webcams, having these face-to-face -face interactions, native language learners with native language speakers. Um, the instructors would have to be fluent in their native language as well as uh, the native language of the learner that they're teaching. And learners can span all the way from grade school students to university students, anyone that wants to work on their conversational skills. This would ultimately create a database of instructors, what times they're available to teach, as well as the languages that they teach and what languages they teach them in. Um, and there would be varying sessions of difficulty that are offered, one-on-one -on -one sessions, uh, group sessions, as well as sessions guided by prompts. Um, and it would be for the beginner of beginner language learners. This leads to a means of social language learning, which uh, I think really gets interesting here because it's kind of like social networking, but you're learning languages with native speakers um, across the globe. Uh, it would be a means of creating international friendships between the learners and the instructors learners and learners, and instructors and learners um, as, they, as they learn their language and speak with each other. Um, the idea for the name of my tool uh, came from this. These are uh, Mandala kingdoms in ancient Southeast Asia. They're concentric circles. They grow and shrink with regard to the rise and fall of their king, and neighboring kingdoms are constantly sharing ideas and beliefs with each other. Recently, one of my most favorite bands released an album. It's titled Mandala, and they're notorious for mixing all types of musical genres into a single album. In a similar way, I would hope Mandala as a tool would become a mixing of languages from all over the world into one single resource that anyone could access. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> um, with the globalization of technology, economics, and even culture. Um, I'm sure there are many obscure languages and dialects that will fall off the face of the earth. I would hope to mold Mandela in such a way that preserves the diversity of language that is gracing our planet. This would create a worldwide community of multilingual uh, citizens that can share technology and research, business and policy, as well as experience culture and traditions in a way that they've never experienced before. As a United States citizen, I feel like it's a little unfortunate that I only speak one language fluently, and I have to rely on the fact that someone somewhere is going to speak English and they'll be able to guide me around. It's a crutch I'd rather not lean on. Um, if we're able to implement Mandela into our current universities and their language programs, um, I'd be happy and it'd be our first step to creating 
multilingual citizens of the earth. Again, my name's Justin. Feel free to talk to me afterwards.